and welcome back to a wealthy place. Oh my goodness, didn't I tell you that was a good word? It wasn't as much of a word as we had before when we were binging, but it was still a firm word because we know that the Lord our God, he restores our soul. But you know what I also found? One of the ways that he restores our, our soul is through laughter. And I know many of you have been, even have been binging on some funny uh, material, funny shows and things. Well, I'm telling you, we have... <laughs> No, see, I no, I can't even look at her right now. We're laughing already. We, we, we already <laughs> laugh. I'm gonna tell you. I'm just gonna tell you a secret. We were laughing from the time she got here. Okay, so I'm tell. I am so excited and just grateful to be able to have my sister friend, Miss Sean Mason. Hey, <laughs> She's in the house. She is in the house. I mean, when I say an anointed woman of God, oh my God, we talk about divine connections also. Mm. Sean and I is truly a divine connection. I don't even know how I know. I know it's been at least seven years, but Sean, she did. She was the MC for my 50th. I know it's hard to believe. Okay. I, almost thought I, I normally I don't do that. Seven years. That oh my was God. seven years ago. But we knew each other even before then, mm -hmm. Sean. And that was, I, I, it goes back so far that I don't even remember how we met. I just, and that's what, how, a lot of times with divine connections, mm -hmm. we'll find just like God knitted us together. And we don't even know how, but it was like Jonathan and David. It was that divine connection. Absolutely. And even, you know, for such a time as this and for what God knows what's going to happen in the future. So I'm just so grateful that you're here and, and to share. And when I say also a, a woman, that, not only a woman of God, but a mother of five. Lord, <laughs> have mercy. Do we have to put that on the camera? Too? I know, right? Jesus. Well, Jesus. we know that she had to have a sense of humor. But she thought God had a sense of humor, too. God definitely does have a sense of humor. Okay, I was the one in college who said I wasn't going to have kids. Oh, okay, that's how you, you know. I'm so serious. I was really? so focused on my career. It's like true story. I was so focused on my career. I'm a trained writer, mm -hmm. and I wanted to go and get a beach house on Martha's Vineyard mm -hmm. and write novels. I'm not even joking. That was the plan. Oh, my goodness. And God had another plan. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, he did. He had a whole... <laughs> Totally different plans. But we know the word God said there. Man plans his ways. However, okay. God got the final say. Okay, I'm going to paraphrase that a little bit. God, <laughs> man plans. Yeah, we got our ways, but God got the final say. I like that. I might have to yeah, write that yeah, one. Yeah, that yeah. You yeah. That. You're just a poet. Even when you turn this poetry, you're in the world. That's how you know this is your gift. Well, I'm so right. glad oh, to be God. here. I am so proud of you. And I, it's, just, it's such an honor for me to be here with you. It is. It makes me laugh. When I think about when I had a conference, gosh, about six years ago, you did a testimonial at that conference, and then you said that you were going to be doing a show. And so I want to say, praise God Hallelujah. for your steadfastness, for Hallelujah. you to continue to do what it is that you were you were set out to do, no matter the hiccups. Mm. You know what I love about this COVID season. Can I just be? Can please, I just be honest? Please, okay. Yes. What I love about this COVID season, it has caused us to. Stop taking ourselves so seriously. Mm. You know, it, yeah. it's, everybody is, I mean, we right. all got plans and we're going to do this and we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And we, we're so focused <laughs> on all these goals and all these things we're going to do. And God said, hold up. Mm. Wait a minute. Mm. What about me? Where am I in your goal Ooh. list? Where am I in your to-do list? I'm, I, I believe so many people have just said, wait a minute. Um, I don't care if it's, if it's traditional church. I don't care if it's prayer. I don't care if it's uh, if it's intercession. I mean, so many people be so busy with their agenda. Yes, ma'am. Come on now. Yes, ma'am. And don't I, have I, time. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm raising my hand. It has been such a blessing mm. to be able to reach so many people. Because as a comedian, you... Are talking to the people at the show, right? Right. right. So most comedy clubs, 150, mm -hmm. 200 people, right? Um, and if you go into a theater, mm -hmm. right, maybe even a thousand, right? And unless you are on a big name ticket, mm -hmm. nobody else sees it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not from Baltimore, right? And to right. be able mm -hmm. to reach my friends and, and family in Detroit, mm -hmm. um, I used to live in St. Louis. So mm -hmm. I get to hear, I get to reach my friends in St. Louis who haven't seen me do um, perform. So mm -hmm. for me. I have mm. just embraced what technology has done mm -hmm. for not just my career, but also for the people of God. Yes, ma'am. Because you, listen, when you're praying, anybody can tune in. Yes, ma'am. Anybody can tune yes, in to this show right now. Yes, yes. So at I'm, any point in time. At, you know, so I'm here for it. 
I love it. I'm here for it. Forget about Netflix. I I, I, I'm done with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I'm looking for what other people are creating. Right. The right. level of creativity. Yes. Right? Yes. I mean, whether it's people are doing stuff around their house. They're re remembering sewing. Remember that little yeah. simple thing? We oh, my gosh. Those... The mask. Come on. How many how many businesses started Come off on. of a mask? And that sewing machine been sitting there for what? 10 years? Yes, ma'am. 15 years? Yes. And didn't think about it. How many of us went to home ec and don't even remember? I don't, listen, I'm See, telling you, I'm going to go there. Come on. <laughs> yes, I listen, come on. Home we economics. Had, listen, <laughs> we had to make a little pillow and then we had to make something. And now you're able to do that again. Yes, ma'am. Like, like God just slowed us all down and said, hey, there is life outside of your yes. agenda. And there I am in the midst of it all. Lord have mercy. Isn't it? Is, is that I love so, it. I love it. It's so exciting. So, I mean, we're not negating mm -hmm. the pandemic. Right. We're not making right. it small. We're right. not saying it's not real. Right. What we're saying is God is bigger. That's right. That's and right. your That's life right. is more. That's right. And now we get to start thinking about our neighbors. Yes. We get to start checking in on people. Yes. How many people live in the neighborhood don't even know your neighbors? Come on now. But now you out there seeing if they okay. That's right. You you waving at them now. Because you didn't you they're out there walking. Yes. The kids are out there playing. Yes. I just believe this was a divine reset. Yes. And I'm here yes. for it. Yes. And I mean, but what about just even the earth itself? Oh. The earth itself needed to rest. Come on, all that commuting and all of the stuff that we're doing to destroy it. I, mm -hmm. it just it really is truly a blessing. Yes. It is a blessing mm -hmm. to have an opportunity to put the people that you love first. Because I'm Zoom meeting with my mother. Now, let me tell you. Okay. Oh, listen. my goodness. Can we talk about some comedy? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Get that 70-something-year-old oh, woman on God. the computer. Oh, yes. Let me, let me say something. She is on there going, I can hear you, but I can't see you. We're like, Ma, look in the camera. <laughs> There's a camera. Oh my God. That's a divine invention. Yes, yes, yes. So well, it's it's been it's been a hoop. It's been a hoop. And but you know it's funny you should mention that because well you know my mom is ninety one. Oh bless my God. God. Bless and still blessing. still driving, still all of you that. Go ahead, and mama. Still does more Facebook and everything else. But but that you stopped talking about that meeting, that conference call we did one last week, mm -hmm. and we were able my baby brothers in Ohio. And so she thought when we were doing the meeting, and my sister had popped up, you know, on the on the computer. Okay, my sister, she lives over at um, the Woodlawn area. Okay, right, yeah, right, you right. can see, you can see. Okay. But then when my baby brother popped up from a high school, I thought you were just pulling up the church service. I had no idea. And I mean, between the tears of him oh, flowing, oh. my tears flowing, the whole thing. But look, come on. All this time, it's been accessible. It, come, it's been available. It's been available. But have we? Have we? Come on. That's a word in season right there. Mm. It's, mm. Been it's been this available. This is nothing new. For real, I work from home and have for 20 years. I don't even like Zoom. Can I say that on Zoom? Yeah, wait. <laughs> I just, I, it's it's kind of clunky. Right. But you know what? It's available. It's available. And, and the stock in that company, Woo! because they made it available earlier to the schools and to people who couldn't afford it, I'm telling you, how many people have come out and decided to do things differently than they normally yes. would. That is what has been phenomenal. So I know, I know we're here to laugh because yes. I know your mama was, <laughs> your mama was probably like, mama, oh. like, wait a minute, can you hear me? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Ma, look up. Wait a minute, right there, right there. Okay, right stay there. still. Right. Don't, don't get up and move. We can't see you. <laughs> right. Okay, but why is, why were they up there right there? But then they down there. Why were you up there? Where were you? Well, that's just, oh. I, 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 I'm, I'm, look, I'm laughing. I'm laughing to her after that was me. It's like, well, why do <laughs> people keep moving over there? So I guess for whoever is talking. Oh. Okay. Exactly. And, watch this. and could you please put mute? Because if all of us talking at one time, ah. we can't hear you. So it has been so funny. Mm -hmm. It's been funny because can we be for real? Um, you don't even really know your kids. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, can we just talk about it? Well, see, my kids are all four-legged and furry, okay? <laughs> and then, I, you're right. I still don't even really know them. <laughs> right, right. You don't know them either. But when I tell you, when you locked up and you don't have anywhere to go. Jesus. Let me tell you something. I told all my teacher friends, I said, you know you need to get cash app, honey, because they're going to be giving you tips. <laughs> oh, see? See, <laughs> the teacher oh my said, God. Oh. listen, um, I know he didn't do his homework. Can I, can I, can I cash app you? 
<laughs> I know he had crazy when he hungry. <laughs> Can I hit dog. you up with a tip? <laughs> a new appreciation for them teachers. A new appreciation. And I'm going to tell you who else got appreciation. Mm. All the folks at the grocery store you were acting all nasty Ooh. with. Come Damn. on, asking them where 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 is this? Why you not here? Look. You know what? I even when you're talking about tips, and the Holy Spirit had to even convict me. They're out there wiping down for our convenience outside rain storm. Well, Maryland, it may be rainstorm all in one Come day, on, snow right. and everything. But wiping off the the uh, carts for us, the Holy Spirit said, "Tipper, uh, come on, Tipper." When I tell you this is so amazing. Sports stars, gone. Reality shows, gone. All this stuff, all of this programming that we made these so big, now they realize. You, even the person at the urgent care who takes your number. My God. Come on, they had to go to work. Yes. They had to leave their kids. Daycare providers. Yes. I mean, yes. Or, or people who are essential workers who had to leave their little children at a daycare, not knowing what was going on. Then the daycares had to close because somebody got sick. It has been really an eye opener mm -hmm. as to who we are as people. Yes. And for me, my default is always laughter. So mm -hmm. I was laughing mm -hmm. in the dollar store when the lady got mad there wasn't no hand sanitizer. Girl. Everybody, right. right. <laughs> Everybody is buying hand sanitizer, miss. Okay. Everybody. I need, I need you to sit down somewhere and wait until they get it's it off gonna, the truck. It's going to be okay. <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, no, Dr. Hair said, that may, you may be in the wrong aisle. It's some SLX. You want to know what <laughs> Come on now. You're a little uptight. You're a little mm, uptight. That, be, that may not be the aisle you need to be in right yeah, now. Okay. I'm, 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 I was fighting for people because I was sitting there listening. Mm, mm, you mm. see the truck is in the back. And you see the people are loading up the truck because y'all can't follow the rules to get one thing of toilet paper. So what? It, I'm telling you, I, I'm glad I'm a believer because I wanted to. You talk Girl, about one of started. I said, listen, It'll miss, you, you can wait. You ain't got to go to work. <laughs> Yo, you where you going? going? Where you going? Where you going? Sit down somewhere. See, that's what I tell her. But you know what? Mm. You know, I, I tried to reel it back. Mm. I tried to reel I it know, back. Okay? I know. Because I I'm going to tell you something. For all of the people who are locked in with, not just the kids, but you know, some people locked in with their spouses. Well, uh, Come on. I was on a comedy show. Let me just say a shout out to all of the people who still want to laugh. Right. Because I right. think some people are getting so serious and all they yeah. want to do is watch news shows and president. This Please. And this. When we started doing virtual comedy shows, mm -hmm. I've done virtual birthday comedy. Mm. Everybody. I've done um, couples nights. I've done singles nights, all virtual. Never thought that. I've, I've, I saw your karaoke. Okay. Can we talk about karaoke? Yes, can we please okay. talk about some karaoke? <laughs> listen, okay. I, Everybody a star. Listen, for my, I love karaoke. And so what I had to do for my birthday is said, what is it that I miss? Mm. Right? I'm not saying that we need to open up and all this other stuff. I got different, right. you know. Mm -hmm. But I was like, okay, what do I miss? Okay. I miss bowling. I do. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that. Can't do that. And I was like, what else? I miss karaoke. Mm -hmm. And I and listen, when I say I'm a karaoke girl, mm. okay, listen. Listen for the people out here watching this, okay? Don't hate the karaoke singers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> we there to have fun. Right. 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 right and in my right. mind, That's I'm going to need a baker in my mind. You know, <laughs> maybe Erica Badu. I don't know. But anyway, I'm somebody else in my mind when I'm in the karaoke bar. So I actually downloaded an app. Mm -hmm. And on Instagram, you can bring two people on at the same time. Hmm. So I actually had people sign up in advance. Okay. Yes, I did. They had to pick their song. Okay. And they had to have their own music. So I wasn't in charge of what the music was. Okay. Okay. Oh, Boy. Listen, we all grown, but everybody knows my birthday. Right. So I had my girlfriend from Tennessee, my girlfriend from Hawaii. Wow. My girlfriend from um detroit mm. and they all say one girl my girlfriend from detroit did rapper's delight i said hip hip hop hip 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 did a hip hip hop you don't stop the rocket to the bang bang boogie hey! and jump the boogie to the rhythm of the boogie beat hey! <laughs> and what you hear is a lot of that stop rapping to the beat hey they meet my girl and my friend we're gonna try to move your feet hey, hey! i love it i love it That's right. We know who's watching. Right. That's Come on, right. They, they, that they was hot. Come on, they think Lil Wayne is a rap. What? Yes. 
come on. It was a whole bunch of hip-hop long before mm. Drake and, and Yeezy and all of them, you know. Mm. But it was so much fun. And we had so many people just saying, I needed this. We had so many people on there was like, oh my gosh, I would not have been to able to celebrate your birthday because I'm in Maryland and yeah. you're in St. Louis. And so it was super, super fun. I love it. Super, I super fun. It. So I besides, um, besides quarantine karaoke, that's what I call it. Okay. Um, we also done, like I said, quarantine comedy. Mm -hmm. And I have talked about just the, the real life of what we're experiencing. Like I said, people mm -hmm. at the stores, mm -hmm. people driving crazy. Now you don't have any traffic. Why are you driving? Ain't nobody on the 110. Oh, okay. Really? I need you to... Why? Okay. And here's the deal. Because the police got their own stuff to deal with. Why is it that you feel like you're just going to take advantage of the opportunity? I, I just... I, I'm telling you, I was like, you know what? This is when we need a citizen's arrest. Mm. You know, but you know, listen... I mean, I just mean, if I had one of those strolls, like, just ooh, one of those... One, one like, from, from back in the... Okay, yes, I'm telling my age. I remember that. But hey, just... <laughs> Just, I'm just a skin. Just, just a, put it in. Put one on twirl. Dash. Get them. <laughs> just, just like you want to just get them. Listen. See it. Mm -hmm. Slow down. Mm -hmm. you know, and, that, and especially in neighborhoods. I'm like, you know the kids playing. I know. Why are you, why are you driving 60 in a little cul-de-sac? I need you to get it together. I, I, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. I, I needed people to get it together. Mm -hmm. And so, I, you know, I, and, and here's the other thing that has also happened. Besides you being quarantined with your family that mm -hmm. you don't really know. I'm going to tell you what this mask situation done done for people, too. Uh-oh. Okay, listen. Some people who've been afraid of the dentist, they going to go as soon as they open. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm... Oh, well, listen. Okay? Some folks, like, listen, I'm telling you. Some folks now, after wearing that mask, now mm -hmm. they're brushing their teeth I twice know, a right? day. They're not just right, brushing right, their right, They're right, finally right. brushing their teeth, rinsing their mouth, <laughs> scrubbing their tongue. Some of them... I know that's right. Some of them Is this bleach. what it smells like? Oh, my... Oh. Peroxide. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> You need to get your whole mm -hmm. mouth together after that mask, okay? Especially, like I said, you got something that's tight on your face. Mm -hmm. You got to wear all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they, 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 look. And we thought that some of them were just wearing the mask underneath of their nose because, mm -hmm. no, that ain't why. We know. <laughs> we know. We look. I'm looking. We, we know why it's under oh. your nose. <laughs> So I think the dentist about to, they're not going to be in a recession. Mm, 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 yeah, mm, all those people, like I said, floss about to go up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. These mm -hmm. are my predictions. Okay, all right. These all are right. my predictions. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love so, it. I mean, you know, so that's basically what we've been talking about during mm -hmm. quarantine. Quarantine mm -hmm. comedy has just been a great getaway. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done comedy shows with other people. We each go on live at different times. Okay. And it's been a great chance to celebrate the people, because from personal trainers mm -hmm. to your makeup artists giving you tips. Oh, it's, yes. I mean, really, everybody, what is that? Especially those who are working. Mm -hmm. that understand a lot of your, your hairstyles, they don't have anywhere to go. So when you're watching that virtual personal trainer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cash that $10. Because right. you are going to have to pay $10 for the drop-in right. boot camp. Right. You know, when you see your com comedian... Five ten dollars. Right. That was the cost of the ticket. Actually, the, the ticket was twenty, but I know some of y'all <clears throat> kind of right. cheap. I'm just saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay, I'll give you ten dollars. But again, it's encouragement. Right. But it also is you saw where you want to go. That's right. And there's Absolutely. a lot there. This is a really a season for us to use those who are blessed. Yeah. Those have the opportunities to sow into our com local I, communities I agree. and be able to be a blessing because that's what we're blessed to be a blessing. Yes, ma'am. And then watch how it comes back because, again, his word is true. You shall reap yes. what you have sown yes. if you faint not. Yes. So One way one way or the other. Go, oh, 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 oh. See, I, I wasn't going to go there. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. We, I, I wasn't going to so, go there. But, that, but, that, but that's a word. Somebody, somebody yeah. still needed to hear that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, whatever you're sowing, mm -hmm. that's the law of the land. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that that has that has not changed. So I'm the I, I'm I'm loving it, and you know because one of my favorite books is Who Moved My Cheese. Mm. Yes, I think I saw that on your yes. In your Who trailer. moved my mm -hmm. cheese? My cheese, and it's all about change. And mm -hmm. the reality of it is, it's not going to go back the way that it was. We realistic. <sighs> that's that's the reality. Now and I know we some to things really have understand that. opened up, but it will never ever be the same absolutely I, I think we have to we really have to shift 
You know, um, you know, I, you know, I want to get my shift in there. You okay, know, I want to you talk know, about. Uh-huh, the, you, know, you know, I want to talk about. Get, yes, you know, yes, gotta get talk about the shift. Yes, gotta, gotta get the shift. And, and not just because here's the other thing, mm-hmm. not just in our how we think, mm-hmm. but how we treat others, as we yes. talked about, and how we treat ourselves. Yeah. Yes. Because yes. I am, I'm, I'm working out, and I'm not just working out just so I don't gain weight. Mm-hmm. It's helping with my focus. Yes. It's helping me meet to release the stress because I'm mm-hmm. sitting yes. while I'm at work. And it's also, again, helping me to feel better because even your regular exams, mm-hmm. doctors are going to be backlogged. Yes. You better be taking care of yourself. Yes. Okay? Because you're not going to be able to just get that, oh, you got a sinus infection, whatever your normal mm-hmm. drop into the doctor. You need to start learning how to allow your body to heal. You need to be sleeping more, resting more. I mean, I know you got a health person coming on, but I'm just saying. No, 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 no. We're but this, individual this is creatives. Yes. We have to be mindful of our own emotional, mental, and physical health. Because, yeah, there's some people I'm not talking to. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You're not, not, not in this season. Y'all, y'all are t- too paranoid, too fearful. I can't deal with it. So I'm going to go ahead and laugh. Right. Some people I've had to block right. on social media. Yeah, well, this isn't funny. I'm like, it's funny. It, it, to it's me. funny to me. <laughs> and it's, this it's is okay. my re- right. And this is my real estate. Okay, right. I'm still praying for you. Right. <laughs> but some stuff is funny. Okay, because some people in there um haven't gotten their hair done. <clears throat> huh. You know <laughs> what? So, look, look, let's see. I, I, I see. I got a vision. Cause y'all talk about the men go tee underneath the, some of the mans. It's some women. <laughs> If it's, it's, it's some goatee. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. See, that, don't. that personal razor is twenty dollars at Walmart, ladies. That's a little tip. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. Listen, <laughs> you gotta listen. It's twenty dollars. Let's twenty. Actually, you know what? You might get a coupon because they're right. probably going that's on right. sale. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's <laughs> right. You, I mean, it's and the thing is, is that we're learning to just again love ourselves that's as it. we are. Yes. As yes, we, we were are. talking about that in the early part of the session mm-hmm. about I love me, but that's that's a, I really believe we've seen a whole lot of hatred in the world, but I mm-hmm. believe it's really beginning with self hatred or lack of self appreciation, not really knowing who you are or whose you are or then how you are fearfully and wonderfully made, and that that lack of love mm-hmm. we, we, we've heard. Hurt people hurt other people. Oh, uh oh. Like I oh, said, so do we, uh-huh. do we, write do we, that down. Do we need to go there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm looking 14 nuggets to more love in your life. The, you um, know, it, it, it yeah, and, and it's close up on that. <laughs> it's, it's, okay. It's, it's, oh, yes. Yes. And I, and I got to tell you about this particular, um, this particular teaching. I started comedy 10 years ago this year. Mm-hmm. And. I started comedy. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to see how we'll celebrate. Maybe we'll do virtual. Right. I don't know. Right. Yeah, we'll do a virtual <laughs> comedy show. I don't know. But in that year, I was at a point where I was not sure what was next. Mm-hmm. I've been married over 20 years. My marriage is falling apart. Mm-hmm. I am a person of faith, mm-hmm. but I didn't know what to do. Uh, again, as you mentioned, five children, mm-hmm. one baby daddy. Y'all write that? Okay. Um, you know, <laughs> I, listen, I'm just telling you. Do you know I had somebody actually say that to me at a show? She's like, how do you keep up with all those fathers? I was like, oh, no. I was like, who? who? Oh, oh, wait. Oh. And no condemnation for anybody. Okay, Absolutely. that's the other that's side. Right. No, that's, no condemnation. That's, that's no judgment. Yeah, but None I mean, whatsoever. Is personal, but I couldn't handle personal it. personal testimony. Okay. Again, I just couldn't handle it. I'm just saying, I couldn't too. handle it. Because I was all ready to bust. Okay, I can't we, say that. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh, you know, again, we got, we got, um, yeah, it's a recording. I'm just saying, so, again, I was literally not sure what was going to happen. And someone challenged me. Someone said, you know what, you're, you stay laughing, even mm. though you're in pain, even though you're afraid. Mm. And they said, you know, you need to go on and do stand up. And I was like, I would never. Okay. I want anybody who's out there clutching their pearls. Mm. Someone's giving them an idea, mm. their next stream of income, their next level, their, yes. their breakthrough yes. moment. Yes. And you're yes. still yes. stuck. Yes. Okay. This is yes. going to bless you. Okay. This is going to bless you. And I was just like, well, I mean, I've already, I'd already been done acting and commercials mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but never actually stand up. Mm. And so she said, I want y'all to get this. Put up or shut up. Oh, to, to you, to, uh, to your face, to, to my whole face. And I want you to know that I might seem nice on this show, Ooh. but you don't challenge me and have me just back down. I'm not mm. a punk. Mm. I am a real city mm. girl. I'm mm. a whole, mm. I'm a whole city mm. girl. Okay. Where'd you, where you say you from? 
Detroit. Okay. Yes, I am. The 313, <laughs> baby. I represent. I do. Okay. And so when she said that, I had to I had to check myself. Because again, what would I be afraid of? It was one amateur night. Wow. And okay, so what? I get booed or whatever. So we're talking about graduates. Y'all see our graduates. Yay. This is one of the things I want to impress upon them as well. Mm-hmm. I know my sister got a wonderful poem. Failure is not an option. Well, let me say this. Mm, mm, mm. Failure is necessary. Mm. It's necessary. Because how else are you going to try? I mean, if you don't try, how will you try. know if you're going to be good at something? Okay. Michael Jordan had to shoot a lot of baskets That's before right. he got the basket. Though. That's right. I mean, a lot That's of right. people don't understand. Failure is not that big of a deal. That's right. And so here it is. I'm, I'm feeling like a failure in my marriage. I'm feeling mm-hmm. like a failure to my children because no one in my family had ever been divorced. Mm-hmm. So it was a really big deal. And so I said, you know what? Might as well go ahead and throw this on the, throw this on the plate. Just throw it on the plate. And so I actually did get coaching. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, so I went to mm-hmm. a comedy school. We're gonna, I met hold, a, hold, we gonna, we gonna put a clip right there because we're gonna come back to the coaching part. Okay, okay. yes. Yeah. So I actually got a comedy coach mm-hmm. who had performed with Richard Pryor wow. um, and had traveled, all of that, um, and talked to a local comedian, comedians. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing. Get in the community where you want to, where you right. want to go. Right, right. Um, and I went to the amateur night. Now, come on. Mm. Everyone there was half my age. So let's, okay, mm. let's go there. Everyone there's half my age. Mm-hmm. I literally am thinking no one is going to laugh because all of my jokes are personal. Mm-hmm. I don't talk about pop culture. I don't talk about TMZ and all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. That's just not what, what I do. the mean do. people in the audience. Right. I don't do that. I'm just talking about my life because really, mm-hmm. I'm not really here for y'all. I'm here for <laughs> Right, right, right. So if you don't laugh, that's all right. My check clear. That's what I tell them. My check I know that's clear. right. Okay. And so one of the things that I did was just go there. And one of the, what my coach told me that I still hold on to this day, mm-hmm. be yourself. Mm. Be your whole self. And that's your pigeon toe, bow leg. Mm. 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 Turn your neck sideways. <laughs> hair looking floppy. I had some hair back in those days, you know. And just be yourself. Mm-hmm. And so I got, I did my set mm-hmm. and, and, and I was chosen to be the top three. So there were like 25 wow. comics on the, on the show and I was chosen in the top three. Well, the top three were chosen. Once they were chosen by the judges, mm-hmm. the winner was chosen by the audience. So this was super scary, but I was glad that I made it to the top mm-hmm. three. What I didn't count on is that the other two 20-year-olds had their parents in the audience. So when I got there and they asked the audience to applaud, and again, I don't use any vulgarity or mm-hmm. use any profanity. When I tell you auntie, grandma, me, ma, mm-hmm. aunt, mm-hmm. papa, mm-hmm. got on their feet and cheered mm-hmm. me to the wind, that's what they did. Really? And I won my very first. Wow. Stand up every night. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And it was wow. really because they don't get their stories aren't told. It's right. almost like after we get out of the dating phase or we get out of our thirties or something, it's like we dead or something. Mm. Mm. And I was just telling them the real real. You know, how um teenagers they can relate. Come on, they could absolutely relate. Because mm-hmm. teenagers have two things in common, no matter your culture or ethnicity. Mm-hmm. That is they're arrogant and they stupid. Uh-oh. And um <laughs> Come on now. That's the, that, every, every teenager. We, we got an amen corner back in the background. She's like, Pride, come on. Pride. They got two things in common. And here's the deal. The third bonus, which I like to tell all my parents, uh-huh. the third bonus is they travel in packs. Whoop. So when you get to do your social media, you better friend your kids and you better friend your kids' Ooh. friends because somebody going to say something. Mm. They can't keep a secret. They can't even hold water, as my grandmama would say. Oh, my so goodness. So every single time my kids would do something stupid, Mm-mm. I ended up finding out for probably one of their friends. And I tell all the parents, I said, listen, Mm-mm. okay, don't let them win. You better get you a Facebook page because it's the best private investigator. I know that's ever. right. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Oh, my goodness. And that's how it happened. And wow, I've been, I've been on stage wow. ever since. Wow. From churches to sales organizations 
to audiences that didn't look anything like me, to audiences mm -hmm. that are half my age. And it has truly been mm -hmm. a privilege and an honor mm -hmm. for us to laugh at yes. ourselves. Yes. I got started even with the poetry. You know, poetry, it was a, a healing agent for me. It was a means of, for me to be able to release frustrations and things because the poems that I'm sharing now are poems I wrote 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. out of, it's about even 20 years ago, wow. out of frustration, you mm -hmm. know, spiritual frustration, broken heartedness, mm -hmm. different encounters I had with God. Mm -hmm. And, but, but the Holy Spirit had pulled me up on it. He said, okay, well, if, you know, quitting is not an option. It's blessing you like that. Don't you think it would want to, it would bless somebody else? Mm -hmm. And so it was one of those in my face moments where he said, Brenda, stop being selfish. Wow. Mm-hmm. Selfish? Oh, you know. You're like me. The God. Yeah. Selfish. Stop being selfish. Mm -hmm. And there was there was an event that was at Security Square Mall. I remember mm -hmm. it was in December. They were having poets night. And okay, you can come okay. and share your poetry. And I believe mean, Brenda, she, she got all dressed up in her nice okay. little suit. You she gonna go share her poem. Yes. Quitting is not an option. And we'll have her nephews, her two little teenage nephews, want to come and record her. She got there and she saw all these poets going up there on the stage and they were sharing their poetry. And Brenda got scared. Come on, you freaked out. I get it. I did. And yeah. I'm sitting there looking, and they were whipping off their poem. And I had my little poem in my hand, and I looked, and I looked, and I, they, and as my nephews came, they were they were a little bit late. And they said, well, Aunt Brenda, we sorry we late. Do we miss you? Yeah, I already went. Mm. Because I got intimidated, and I got scared, because I didn't feel like I was prepared. Mm -hmm. And after I left up under there, you know, to feel like a failure is not an option, mm -hmm. but also it was that, but Brenda, you said quitting is not an option. That was the point. And I made a determination that day Come on. that I was going to study and I was going to, if I didn't do anything else, I was going to learn that one poem. Mm -hmm. And that one poem is why I'm sitting here today. Come on. Young people. That's it. Older people, Come on. whatever age you're graduating, do not despise small beginnings. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you, let's say she said, failure is not an option, but it's not failure. It's only failure if you quit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's only failure if you give up and give in to what, you, what, what others are saying and what you see right here, right now. But you didn't give up. Didn't give up. Didn't give in. And neither did I. I made a decision that my, my mother, quitting is not an option. I choose to win. I went and I made determined to prepare. And the reason that you're able to graduate is because you didn't quit. You didn't and quit. you prepared. But this is just the beginning. Absolutely. This is absolutely. <laughs> and look at, the, look at the message that they have really given the world that yes. when it doesn't and and we know individually there's some who are sad and distraught and and, and my daughter she doesn't want to drive by graduation she says she doesn't care but when i saw the celebration that lebron james put together last night mm. and or the the graduate to get the graduate yes. together yes yes um, yes it was it, it warmed my heart because what he said was most of the time we have experiences that don't go our way. It's How life. about that? Welcome to life. Welcome to life. They just got introduced earlier. We try to shelter. Um, we try to shelter our loved ones, no matter what their age, no matter what yes. their experience. We try to yes. shelter them. Yes. And this really said, OK, this is life. This is how it's going down. And what I loved President Obama said, mm. now is your chance to lead. Yes. Because we don't know. This never happened to us either. Absolutely. Uh, My mom said in her 91 years. 91. Come on. 91 years. She's never experienced anything like this. She's she born in the 20s. Mm -hmm. Through the depression, mm -hmm. through various other pandemics, but nothing like this. Nothing like this. Welcome to life. Because there will be something else. There, and you know what? And you will have to take the lead. You I don't know. I don't you. know everything. How scary is that? 
The people that you look up to. Yes. We don't know everything. Yes. We don't always have the answers. So it's more of the reason to just go boldly and put it out there. I, I We were just talking about the technology. Mm. If you it just, what you can do with your phone. What phone? Uh, I don't yeah. have a phone. I got a mini computer and I'm walking around with it. I can, maybe I can make a call. <laughs> How can you please say that again? You're talking about something when I first, I, I had a show in a uh, college mm-hmm. and it was a soap opera. Yeah, it was this one. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and, and we wrote for it and I was in it. And I remember the camera guy. Are mm-hmm. you ready for this? Mm-hmm. The camera guy had to pause because his shoulder was hurting during mm-hmm. filming the show. Wow. So I want everybody to mm-hmm. think this big. And it weighed probably more than this chair. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And he had to carry it around for 30, 40, mm. 50 minutes. Mm. Okay. Mm. The editing software, can mm. we go there for a minute? Mm-hmm. The editing software, we pulled together the the, the staff mm-hmm. or the crew, the, what do you, I don't even, I know if it's so funny, the people on the show. Right. I got you. We were all college <laughs> students. Right. And so we pulled together. Now the university had its its stuff, mm-hmm. but we wanted to get some extra stuff. Mm-hmm. We pulled our money together, mm-hmm. some 30 of us. Wow. Wow. To buy what the add-ons at that time mm-hmm. to some thousands of dollars of software. Mm. Okay? That we only had access to because we were at the university. Mm. And mm. now mm. can we yes, fast ma'am. forward? Yes, ma'am. To 30 years. Later. Yes, ma'am. You can put the thing in your hand. Yes, like ma'am. This. You yeah. can download something for two dollars. Okay, two dollars. I'm not saying for the premium version, mm-hmm. and edit the same thing that we were doing. How crazy is that? Just literally thinking about it blows my mind yes, that they can have their own podcast. They can have their own yes. TV show. Yes, that they can go and produce music for real TV shows. Do soundtracks. It was phenomenal watching the level of creativity. And so I am literally wanting to tell the class 2020, do your thing. That's right. Do your thing. And yes, I said it with an A. I'm an English yes. major, but it's, yes. a, it's an A. Yes. And do your thing. That's it. Because that is what you have been given. And you have the next thing. You have the next it. You have the, it's in you. The next greatest invention will come out of this pandemic it will come out of i couldn't do or what i wasn't allowed to do guess what that invention is in you and we're waiting for it we need it we need it we need it it was just and if there is one other thing it's not about disrespecting your elders because again i have two Mm -hmm. um 2020 graduates one high school one college it is learning to understand that even how we parent and how yes. we communicate to them is different. They have a level of um, empathy mm. that they have an understanding of the rest of the world. That us, all we cared about was, you know, looking cute, whoever was going to the prom with us and mm-hmm. making sure that you had the right corsage mm-hmm. and all that other stuff. They get a chance to be concerned about the whole world. They made a sacrifice for the health of their grandparents and their aunts and uncles. They made a sacrifice. So even though they had birthdays and graduations and all those things, they did drive-bys and they touched the windows mm. and, and, and they got a chance to just say, it's okay. It's okay. It's not about me. That's what I love about yes. this class of 2020. Yes. Yes. And I, and I congratulate as well the parents because this, this has been a transition also for them. Mm. It really has. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, homeschooling? Okay, wait a minute. Woo! I know I'm not supposed to be telling any more jokes necessarily, but <laughs> but we good. <laughs> I homeschooled before. <laughs> <laughs> However, and I'm just saying, I'm concerned about these particular people because these children were raised by day drinkers. I'm like, oh see, these <laughs> when I tell you every time I turn on some social media, I know. somebody hiding in the closet with I a know. glass of wine. I know, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> they have another appreciation for teacher. 
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry. So, I, I, you weren't no. lying. <laughs> my bad. Um, this I new know. man. I know. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what this is, but uh, yeah, let's hope that they can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How about this? I don't know where Paris is. You gotta help me. Are they doing geography? Right. I know, right, 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 right. Was right. I supposed to do statistics? <laughs> Wait, where is this? What's east west? I mean, we literally have had to go back to basic stuff going like, wait a minute. I don't do I have a dictionary now? Oh, I mean, I gotta open this and check in with the teachers and, and do these. Yes. I mean, it's yes. It, it, like the literally it blows my mind because so many of my friends are like, I don't know how you don't do this. I'm like, I'm like, listen. You and to, we're and still gotta work. Oh, and still. And still have to still work. Gotta work. And still gotta mm -hmm. work. Well, guess what? Your co-workers know you don't like them now. Yep. I'm just saying, they can see your face. See, at the meeting, they're I not know. looking at right, you. Right, But now on right. the virtual you landscape, <laughs> you got to make sure you learn how to take your video off. That's right. Right before. That's right. Wait, 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 mm. we, laugh, we laughed at, at was it Jane Jetson? When she had her Jane Jetson, with that video, she had her Jane Jetson. You better have your Jane Jetson face on when, when you pull on that video. You, you better make yourself sure again. you again. Uh, Yourself again, the kids are going like now. I what's have her, to Google. What's her, Jay, what's her Jane, Jane Jetson? Jetson? What is she talking mm -hmm, about? Mm -hmm. My bad. That's know. all right. It's all I know. You I know. I know. But yeah, I mean, just but like you said, you better have a you better have your game face on. Cause I'm telling you, your coworkers already know that you're sitting there going. Mm -hmm. I know, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, you can see that. Oh, oh, my bad. Ugh. Okay, all I right. wasn't on mute. All right. no, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> boss. Yeah, I'm listening. Uh, you know, they already know that you're in there making a smoothie and mm -hmm. grabbing wine. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. I need you to hide it on the other mm -hmm. side, other side of the camera, just on the mm -hmm. other side. So, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's been, like you said, parents, yeah. we all have had to learn differently mm -hmm. and learn more about ourselves mm -hmm. and really see what's available. Because, like you said, these children have learned new languages. They yes. were practicing you know, 3D. Yes. And all, all of their skill set, they were all able yes. to do virtually. Yes. So guess yes. what? If they can do it, uh oh. Yes. Well, that's okay because we will be having a special altar call for those of you when you found out the schools were closed for the rest of the year. <laughs> it's it's going to be special. There, there will be a special prayer line, a, spe a special prayer intercessory line just for you when you, when you heard the rest of the year. You're like, I felt that. Hold on. I felt in the spirit. What what year? <laughs> <laughs> you, you mean the semester? I mean, you, you mean, mean the whole? you mean the fall? You mean September, right? You mean <laughs> no, no, twenty twenty, twenty twenty. Yeah, it's gonna be real. Yeah, it's gonna be real different. It's gonna be real different. And 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 okay. here's my hope is that your house is at least clean since you got all of those wipes and bleach. And now you have coworkers mm. in your house. Mm. That's what I call my right, right, right. You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> But I don't right. have to adhere right. to the slave laws now. Right. So or child labor laws. That's right. I don't have right. to adhere to the child labor laws. So guess what? They're gonna be washing walls, mm. ceilings, they're gonna be taking out they're gonna be taking the fan parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need to be doing something. That's right. While we all in the house. That's right. And you got all these supplies. I'm telling you, I need to go over your house and, and, and learn how to deduct that allowance as now as, as, as now wages paid. Is that, oh yeah, see, get, now, that that'll be a different show. Uh, we have our special accountant on here. I, wait a minute, okay, I, I paid them allowance for them to. Oh, oh, so they're janitorial now. They're the janitorial staff for my home office. Come on, absolutely, you bet. I'm telling you, I got them labeling. Oh my, I'm telling you, my files are tight. I know okay? that's right. Everything shredded, <laughs> everything labeled, color coded. Come on now, y'all better take some notes. Get them to work. Yes, yes, Put yes, them to yes, work. yes, yes. Don't yes, let them stress you out. That's right. Okay, you better have a lock on your bedroom door. That's a lot. Another person. Ooh. The locksmith probably got Home Depot. That's why they stayed open. They were essential. That's right. They, they were essential. Home Depot was because essential. Because just in case you didn't have a lock on your door, you got one now. That's right. I know I do. I got a lock. Okay, and I got the little mat under my door. Mm -mm. <laughs> just in case they try to peek. Mm -mm. Don't mess with me. This is my private time. That's right. Okay. That's I right. got more bubble baths and candles mm. than I ever had <laughs> because of this here quarantine. Mm. I'm telling you. Mm. I need mm. to get a megaphone. Yo, know, bath and bath, bath. They should have been essential too. Yeah. But that's okay. They online. Yes, that, that's all right. Yes, <laughs> they, 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 they ship pretty fast. They, they ship online. pretty fast. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Well, you know we've been having a good time, and yes. we, we're gonna, and you know, of course, Sean's gonna be back. But we want to again, we have, in all seriousness, we just want you to know, Wealthy Place, we do celebrate you. We acknowledge the accomplishments of being able to graduate, whether it's high school, 
college, elementary school, whatever, mm -hmm. okay, nursing school, whatever vocation mm -hmm. that you took to the next level that you weren't able to celebrate in the way that you felt that you should have been received the acclima acclamations. We're here. This is all for you today. So we just want to say congratulations, class of 2020. Woo! Yes, baby. Hold on. And if you, if, if you can, oh, yes. So we, what we're going to do, we did have some individuals who posted on our Facebook that they just wanted to be able to receive a shout out. So we want to shout out some individuals. And we're also going to have a wealthy place drawing where we're going to draw the name of a special graduate. Oh, I'm I'm cool. going to get some, gift. some, 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 go get a wealthy place package as well as a monetary. Be just a, just a little something to say, say, but look, we do celebrate you. We do appreciate you. We know you went that next level and we want you to, to stay encouraged to keep going Absolutely. on to the next phase Absolutely. and know that your dream still lives. Your dream lives in you. Mm. Your dream still lives in your parents. Your dream still lives in here, wherever you are. We want that dream to continue to live and birth forth and grow legs and come into full fruition. So we do celebrate you. So in celebrating you, okay, I'm getting this. This, this is going to be the cap and gown. Yes, yes, yes. We are <laughs> we're going to cap and gown. For you. <laughs> so we're going to have our scroll and we're going to do our shout out for our 2020 graduates who have been acknowledged by their family and friends. And, and then again, you know, we want to, if you want to continue to post on Facebook, we'll continue because we're going to put it on our website because we really do want to celebrate you. So we're going to have our, our special guest co-host, Ms. Sean. She's going to start off with the high school graduates. Again, congratulations, class of 2020. Your dream still lives. And I apologize in advance if I miss pronounce okay in right. advance, in advance, okay i'm gonna go ahead and put that out there so we're gonna kick it off with aria brown she graduates a year early you go girl from rapanic high school and on the same day that it is her 17th birthday so congratulations congratulations yes. aria yes. Yes. Okay, he is a serious opera singer. 
opera singer. Uh -huh, she's and a I'm the sorry. He is sorry. And I am so very proud. And we celebrate Yay! you. And Yay! Yay! Yes, so proud of you. You Yay! better go ahead. We yes. need we need music yes, in our lives. Yes, I we? know that's right. We said that when our episode before. Music means music. There's healing in music. Yes, yes it yes, is. Yes. yes, it is. So and our next graduate is Evan. Otero from Wesley College in Dover, Delaware. Yes! 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 Go ahead. yes! And then we have Evan's sister, Owen Otero from Lincoln University. We celebrate you, you, Owen, and we celebrate your parents. So, woo! Yes. I mean, that's Come a double on. dose of college. college. Yes, woo! you go ahead, Otero yes. family. That's what's yes. up. Yes, yes. Okay, so we have Kamari Spence, the University of Michigan! Yes. And Kamari Mama, that's her mama, that's her mama! Yes, yes, yes. and believe it or not, these are the two of my children that have my face, so y'all like looking at them. Okay, hey, hey. Yes, the University of Michigan happens to be the place where his dad and I both graduated. We are so awesome. proud of them. Yes. Awesome, awesome jobs. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. son. Well, you know what? This is going to be the proud auntie, okay? Yes. Because this not, last but not least is Tiana Wells. Woo! My Go great ahead, niece. Auntie. And she is the first of that generation to graduate oh, college. Yes. University of Maryland College Park. Delta Sigma Pi. Bachelors of Science in Marketing and Supply Chain Management. Mom, 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 Tiana, Tiana. already know the turn up is real. Yes. I don't care yes. if it's kindergarten. Yes. Yes. Middle yes. school, high school, college, and beyond. Yes. We bring the whole neighborhood out to celebrate. Do yes. We not? Yes, we do. I'm telling you, we get the dance. Yes. Okay? Yes. My, yes. My uncle had had shaved. And my grad, he hadn't shaved for like years, but he shaved for my graduation. I can you know that's right. You get some, you gonna get some cousins you haven't seen in a while. Yeah. And you know what? They sometimes come with some coins too, a little paper in the car. Come on now. That's how we do it because it's a big. It deal. is. It's it a is a very deal. big deal, and we, and we remember when. Yes. We absolutely. We, 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 we still remember. Yes. Okay. Yes. Our and memory's it, it not is. gone. Yeah. I mean, it, not not yet. Deal. I'm just. We're not gonna talk about that. Okay. All right. Let me so go. So what ahead. we're gonna do? So that those are like I said. If you still want to shout out? We'll do some shout outs via our website. But we just again want to celebrate you. We go. We gonna do a pretend cheer. We gonna be doing pretend. Here's to you. We tell yes. your dream still lives. So yes, we gonna I move love on that. To the next one. So and, and look at this. I know, okay. right? Can I do a little commercial? Actually, fancy y'all. This is congrats, so congrats, 2020. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, she got the home. All this, all this for y'all. Yes. Got some little cupcakes and cake. Oh, okay. and all this is mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. For you. Yes. It's all about you. Yes. So we celebrate, but it's all about some lucky. Well, I'm not gonna say lucky, but blessed. There okay. You go. okay. Blessed okay. with our wealthy place. We're gonna choose a name. We're gonna let Sean choose uh -oh. a name uh -oh. and see who our lucky. Okay. Don't blame me. Okay. Y'all see? Look, my hand is clear. Look, no, nothing yeah, on my yeah, sleeve. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just in case one of my kids' names. I, I know, know right? Okay. <laughs> Okay, I got a name right here. I got a name right here. I think that's one. Okay, I want you to pick. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a long one. Savian Edwards of Kenwood High School. Yes! in touch with you, Savian, and the one who entered you into this shout out with a wealthy place. You will receive a wealthy place success package as well as monetary gift. And we're excited. But guess what? We know on a wealthy place, everybody is a winner. Yes. So everyone who we shouted out will be getting a wealthy place success package as That's well as some monetary because we just want to celebrate Aww. you. So we're just excited and we're grateful and we bless God and we just say, John, you know what? Well, we should just close out with a special prayer just as, just over to speak over them, oh, over their lives. We can just speak the word of life and the, yes. and the, and the word absolutely. of yeah, the word. What just, an, just what gratitude an, to God. Yes, what an honor. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you so yes. much for the opportunity to speak life into those who have graduated, who have matriculated, who have moved on to their next step in this year of 2020. God, we know that you are 
always available to us. Whenever we have a worry, a care, a fear, or anxiety, you told us to cast those upon you. Yes. And so we just step in for any of those who may be feeling down, low, frustrated, or anything that they may be dealing with, God. Yes, we Father. just say that you are available. Yes. And we want them to know that you are the lover of their soul and yes. the lifter of their head. God, we appreciate their effort, yes. their resilience, yes. their compassion, their empathy, and even their fire. Because yes, we know that sometimes they've been angry and frustrated, mm. just like their parents. And so, Lord, we pray a special prayer for their hearts today. Yes, Father. Let their hearts be yielded to you. Yes, Let them God. know you more. Let them take all of the confusion and frustration or whatever it is and know that you are a hearer of their prayers. Yes. And not just a hearer, but also an answer. Lord, yes, we Father. are so excited to celebrate yes. them. You have given them life for such a time as this. Yes, and I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, God, that there is purpose and destiny wrapped up in every single person. Yes, Jesus. Every single person, you made us your masterpiece in your image and in your likeness and let every single person who is in the class of 2020 know that and walk in it. Yes, Father. Boldly, yes. confidently. Yes. Lord, we ask for your protection, yes. your guidance, and your wisdom. That we make the decisions for them until yes. they're now, well now some of them are older, yes. and that they continue to walk with you all of the days of their lives. Yes, Father. You are not just some, some old myth. That's right. Locked yes, up in God. an old book. Yes, God. You are the present and living God. Yes, Father. who loves them yes, more God. than they may ever know. Yes, Father. So we speak love, life, wisdom, protection, yes. confidence, clarity, and commitment. Yes. Commitment to being all that you made them to be. And we are cheering them on. Yes. Lord, God. let your angels surround each and every one of them. Let them feel your presence. And we give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. Yes, in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I know you felt that. I felt that the presence of God is so strong in this place. Amen. And we're just so grateful that, Sean, that you came and shared with us. But you Thanks cannot leave us me. without telling us how to get in contact with you. I mean, Sean is I say, such a tremendous, well, you see the anointing of God and the, and the funny, Thank but you. she is a very knowledgeable entrepreneur. She can be, be able to help. She's a life coach. We didn't even get to talk, talk about the coaching aspect, but that is a very important aspect also mm -hmm. with in graduating and moving to the next level as having someone in your corner who can help coach and mentor you. Mm -hmm. I, I can't recommend a better person. She would be phenomenal mm -hmm. to be able to help you with whatever aspect. And if, if she can't, to be able to put you in the right direction. So, Absolutely. Sean, please, how can they get in touch with you? Absolutely. Thank you again. I yes. am so <laughs> blown away at this amazing community mm -hmm. that you have created at a wealthy Praise place. God. And the talented team that you have assembled, it I am is. so, so, again, proud of you. And I am so honored that you would have me here on a wealthy place. Yes. I mean, who wouldn't want to come to somewhere Pray called the a wealthy Lord. place? I know I'm that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and so you can get in touch with me on all social media outlets. It is Sean, S-H-A-W-N, my middle initial M, because somebody decided to have my same last name. Oh, see. So, my, oh, <laughs> I'm saying it. Right, the middle initial M, Mason, M-A-S-O-N. So, it's Sean M. Mason mm -hmm. on Facebook, on Instagram, mm -hmm. on Pinterest. Now, um, don't go to my Snapchat. I'm not there yet. I'm I'm, 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 I'm evolving. I'm evolving. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. And I do want to get in a TikTok video, so maybe you could, maybe you could coach me. Okay? Because I got a little, you know, I got some moves. Hi, yes, hi, yes. hi. Yes. And karaoke. Hi, yeah, okay. Hi, and some karaoke. Hi, hi. <laughs> uh, but you can also email me at Sean at SeanMMason.com. It is really my desire that all that we have amassed mm -hmm. in our lives, our experiences, mm -hmm. that we pass that on to someone else. So I don't mm -hmm. just coach women. I don't mm -hmm. just coach young women. Mm -hmm. um, I don't just um, coach even believers. Mm -hmm. Because I believe that this is a time that people are seeking greater understanding about who they are yes. and why they're here. Yes. And why not be able to have 
a relationship with someone who is not going to judge you. Right. It's going to guide you. Yes. And encourage you. Yes. And that really is my platform and my coaching practice. And in terms of entrepreneurship, I mean, besides coaching, I'm always helping people to move their business online. Mm. So this was an incredible season for me because so many people, mm. after being shut down, mm -hmm. they don't know how to have an online course. They don't know how to build a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. They don't know what SEO is. Oh, my God. Right, they, right, okay. right, right. So, so now that my digital marketing agency, the Significance Group, does exactly that for all of my clients. So, and of course, if you like funny, if I, I, I Brenda just as funny as I am now, we need to get her on the stage. She, I'm yeah. telling you, she brings it out of me. I'm telling you, from the time she walks in the door, I, that's when you know when you have that anointing or that spirit, okay? You know, some people, they have our spirit. She got the spirit of, she got the spirit, the gap, she got the gift, but she got the spirit of laughter, okay? Yes, hallelujah, yes. We better laugh. My motto is always, oh, I'm like, you better laugh. You better laugh. Oh, well, don't get ready. You better laugh to keep from crying, killing yourself. Or somebody else. That's how I always end the show. Girl, that sounds like a book. Listen, like a, come right on. Right. Let's make a book. Listen, we better listen. We better listen. See, like see that creativity. You better, you better laugh. You better laugh. Mm -hmm. We might have to have that coming out in the fall. But anyway, yeah. this is my last DVD project is hashtag petty. It is mm. truly, mm. it is, it is, mm. it's, it's funny because it is so real. Because really and truly, if you said all the things that came into your mind. Oh my. Okay, right, I'm, I'm just saying. repenting already. Yeah, see, okay. see you just, it's going it's going you're going to laugh and then you'll repent. Okay, so that's what hashtag is it's actually a DVD it. project and you can order that from me just email me at comedy at seanandmason.com or wherever you. Mm -hmm. And then this actually is an oldie but goodie. Mm. Um I was asked to speak at a conference and I didn't know at the time mm -hmm. that the mo majority of the people had had been impacted by um, HIV. Mm. They either had lost a loved one, mm -hmm. they had um, themselves been HIV positive, oh, wow. or had full-blown AIDS. Mm -hmm. I had no idea when I went to the conference. And as I was praying, because that's what I that's what I do, I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. but I just try to really allow God to use me wherever mm -hmm. I'm going, he had me to issue a 21-day love challenge. Wow. The first seven days is loving of yourself. Mm-hmm. The mm. next seven days is loving others. Mm. And the third is loving God. Ooh. And so I actually, these are the first two. This is loving yourself and okay. loving others. Mm -hmm. And I actually separated loving God. Mm. And actually at that time, which is so funny, because you always inspire me to go ahead and get some work done. <laughs> Yo, 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 look like I need some work. Bless now the she, Lord. she done got me back. Now I'm listen, going, you better laugh. Now I'm better, talking about. You better, girl. Listen, I loving that, God was actually uh, a devotional that I had worked on as part of a course. So that those are the 14. It's an audio CD. I know somebody. Somebody got a CD player. I, I still got a CD player. Okay. You might have to listen to it in your car mm -hmm. or go to some little convenience store and get them for $10. A lot of laptops don't have the CDs. Absolutely. The they don't have it anymore. Uh, but I actually plan to make it digital. Um, sometime really soon. So those are the two products that I'm actually giving away. So somebody. Yes. Well, actually, what I was thinking is that the, the parent who, of uh, the person who we won, who won okay. the CD, okay. we'll gift them the yes. CD. Yes, that would be awesome. We'll, yes. we'll gift the parent because we never want to forget the parent, the graduate is there. Come the on. parents behind the scene pushing. Absolutely. So Absolutely. we want to we celebrate the parents. So we're going to celebrate you, parent, with the CD. All right, awesome. So that is how you can get in touch with me. And again, thank you so much thank for inviting you. me to the Walking Place. We love you. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. And we look forward to seeing you again. And we look forward to seeing you in a little bit back here on A Wealthy Place.